Hello friends, uh, in statistics I want to start today index numbers. This is one of the important chapter. It is useful for CA, uh, CS, BCom students and for also for the MAC students. So index numbers are quite common and very much useful chapter. So why do we use this index numbers? Index, num index, index means indication or showing any kind of information. So that is related to the given phenomenon, a given information whatever is given according to that will be indexing, will be indicating some required information. So in uh, the, especially this index numbers which are useful for any kind of concepts like uh, economics point of view or progress of our country uh, or otherwise business point of view you can use it. The best example I will tell you say Bombay Stock Exchange BSCA. So Bombay Stock Exchange the prices will be always increasing or decreasing. So this is going to indicate. So that indication is with this index numbers we can just go ahead. So like changes in the economy and prices are increasing or decreasing, production is increasing or decreasing and uh, uh, policies of the manufacturing. So like many times, many areas we can just use this index numbers. So we will see today only the introduction part of index numbers. So first one is that importance and uses of index numbers. Before going to that let me tell you, after completion of this index numbers chapter, please go ahead this this chapter especially this video then you will have a better understanding because you will be completing all the problems then you will have a better understanding then you will understand what I have said because right now you do not have any idea about index numbers now I am teaching you theory so after practical knowledge once again come back to the same video you will get more clarity now coming to the first one importance and uses of index numbers the first thing is that economic parameters economic point of view it is much useful like prices are increasing, decreasing and uh, also economic factors like uh, uh, you can say the other factors uh, how the progress of our country, economic policies are increasing or decreasing and GDP rate. So all these things which are going to indicate exactly what is happening. So that is why economic barometers point of view it is useful and uh, study of trend. This indicators will give you different kinds of trends. Presently the indicator is showing this, next, next like that, different stages point of view, you will find the indicators. So that is why we say study of trend. Next one, policy formulation. If you want to uh, make any kind of policies, so index numbers are going to be helpful. So policy in the sense, if you are in a uh, company, if you are running a company, or if you are running the state, district or anything, you want to make any kind of policies. It is related to the dividend, it is related to the manufacturing, it is related to the production or it is related to the price, any kind of point of view. If you want to decide, if you want to make any kind of policy, so this is going to be helpful because the results, as per the results, you can decide that what we can do. Next one, forecasting. Index numbers will indicate something, some information from the given phenomenon according to that we can forecast what is going to happen. So the prices of the gold, the prices of the stock exchange, so is it going to increase or decrease somewhat we will have an idea. So that is why for forecasting point of view it is useful and measurement of purchasing power. Want to purchase anything then also you will have some understanding. So whether we have to purchase at this rate or shall we wait or shall we sell. So like somewhat purchasing power you will come to know through this index numbers and also simplicity. Simplicity in the sense index numbers are quite easy, easy to understand, easy to calculate, easy to remember the formulas, no complications at all. So that is why we will say it is a simplicity, simplicity means very easy and uh, so these are the main importance and uses. Now if you see there are some problems in calculation of index numbers. What are the problems? Problems of construction of index numbers. The first one is purpose of an index. You must know very clearly that what is the purpose of calculating this index numbers. Unless a person who is expertise, who has a good knowledge, then only he can understand what to calculate, when to calculate, what is the use of that. If you do not know the purpose simply calculating it is not going to work out. So that is why experts are needed. If the purpose is not clear, then no use. Next one. Selection of base period. 
in index numbers we take one year as base period so which year to be taken as a base period that is quite important very important most of the time uh, people take the first year as base year and they'll be calculating everything for the next years by taking the first year as a base year some people will take middle year as base so how do you take how it is going to represent that is a quite important thing people may not be having good knowledge so that that's one of the drawback selection of the base year or base period next constituents of the index so here what kind of size sample size shall we take 5 years 4 years 10 years so that sample size selection of the sample size is a very big problem and how should be a selection of the sample bins it should not be very big it should not be small also it should be medium it, it, it has to fulfill the purpose of calculation of the index numbers that is much important so when you calculate sample size is much important in the same way price quotations price how is the price price is increasing or decreasing shall we increase and what kind of things are to be done so that calculation is quite difficult we are saying index number through index numbers we can we can but if a person does not have knowledge if a person cannot estimate then automatically it is not going to be helpful the price quotations and next one method of calculation of index very important it's one of the very difficult task which method has to be followed there are many methods many formulas unless a person who is calculating this index numbers he should have a very good knowledge unless he is having that knowledge no use of calculating we'll calculate we have calculator we have problem and then we'll calculate but what is to be chosen to purpose of the calculation what method is required so that's one of the drawback so these are the main problems of calculation of index numbers now if you see limitations when we calculate index numbers we'll have some limitations what are the limitations first one is that approximate representation in index numbers we get we calculate but whatever data we are we have and what we are going to calculate it is not going to give accurate results so no universal formula no universal results you can't say damn sure so this is only approximate representation and second limitation is likelihood error there is a possibility of error possibility of error can be while choosing the data while taking the base year while taking the formula anywhere it can be person who does not have knowledge definitely there will be there is a possibility of error in the same way not responsive you have done something you got some answer but is it going to represent it can you say that i am damn sure so no so no one can take the responsiveness of this calculations another one is no universally acceptable formulas the formulas are not sure all the formulas say for example you want to calculate average for average formula is simple in this individual series discrete series continuous series we have certain formulas those formulas are confirmed you will get exact average in the same way median mode now here the formulas you can't say that much of damn sure so these formulas are not universally acceptable next one scope for manipulation definitely people can go for manipulations because formulas calculations all these things who will understand who has the knowledge especially company ceos managers they don't have that much of time to understand so that is why there is a chance of manipulation by the person who is preparing this index numbers so these are the main limitations now if you see the calculations types of index 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 numbers three types of index numbers are there the first one is price index numbers this price index numbers it is going to talk about the prices only the price is increasing or decreasing how much it is increasing according to that we'll have some kind of understanding we'll have some estimations we'll have some forecasting we can take the decisions and how much it is decreasing so like related to the prices only the first method that is price index numbers will be calculating second one is that quantity index numbers quantity index numbers it's going to talk about the quantity of the goods 
quantity is increasing or decreasing, how much quantity we have we are preparing and how much quantity is required. So, related to the quantity only. And the third one is value of index numbers. Value of index numbers, it is not going to give much importance of the quantity or price. It will give you the importance of the value. So, how about the quality, the value? So, this is rarely we use it. We don't use it much time, rarely we use it. Most of the time we'll be going for price index or quantity index numbers. So, that's all. This is about a small introduction of the total index numbers. Now, in the coming classes, we'll work out practical problems. I'm telling you, my dear students, index numbers are quite easy. Only the thing is you have to remember the formulas and how to calculate, when to calculate, which formula to be used. That's it. Easily you can understand. So, stay connected with me in the description box. I have given a lot of subjects. You can just go ahead, lot of subjects, lot of topics, links are there. Please find it, make use of it. Economics is completed, business statistics is in the process, BCRW, business communication and report writing, financial accounting and uh, also financial accounting to management accounting, cost accounting a little bit I have already taught. So, different subjects and business law almost I have covered. So, all the topics links are given in the description box. Please go ahead, watch it and do share this videos with those students who are struggling to study. So, thank you all. Wish you good luck. Take care.